Hey everybody, it's Jordan from don'tbuythehype.blogspot.com here to uh, just give a quick preview of the 2012 College World Series. Uh, you'll see I'll upload this video in a little bit. Uh, the College World Series does start this afternoon with uh, two games uh, in bracket one and then bracket two will uh, we'll play two games tomorrow. Uh, one thing that you'll hear a lot about uh, this week is obviously going to be the underdog stories. Uh, if you've ever been to Omaha like I have, um, I was actually in Omaha for the, probably the biggest underdog story of all times in college baseball, and that was the, uh, the Fresno State National Championship back in 2008. Uh, obviously, as a Georgia fan, that was, uh, that was brutal to watch. Uh, you know, watch your team lose uh, with, with a chance to play for a national title. But, um, you know, it was amazing to see the people of Omaha and, and how they backed the, uh, the underdog. That said, obviously, the two big stories you're going to hear about this week are going to be Stony Brook and Kent State. Uh, you know, obviously Stony Brook is the only the second four seed to ever make it to Omaha. Uh, Fresno State being the first one. Uh, you know, I think this this is a little bit different story uh, than what you saw with Fresno State. Now, a lot of people forget. You know, Fresno State actually back in 08 was a top 25 to top 30 team in just about every preseason poll. Uh, you know, they underachieved mightily and then you know started playing quality baseball like they were capable of you know once they got to the postseason and, and, and rolled through and got hot and won the national championship uh, you know this Stony Brook team is a little bit different I don't think anyone expected uh, you know much of anything from Stony Brook in the preseason uh, but here they have you know come on strong you know obviously they're an excellent team uh, you know anytime you go to, to Baton Rouge and take two out of three especially in the postseason from LSU uh, you know that that solidifies you as a great team same thing for Kent State uh, you know, knocked off a uh, Purdue and Kentucky in that regional and then went out west and, uh, and, and took two out of three from Oregon. Uh, you know, so you know, even though they're underdogs, you know, neither of these teams is a fluke. They're not a joke. Um, that said, I do think they are going to run into some trouble uh, out here in Omaha. You look at each bracket, uh, you've got the, the bracket one, which is going to play this afternoon. Uh, and, and that, the first game, I believe, is uh, Stony Brook and uh, UCLA. And then Florida State and Arizona is the nightcap. Uh, in that 14 pod, I think that UCLA is probably going to be uh, the winner of that. I think they're the best team. I think they're the most complete team. Uh, one thing that will be interesting to see, Arizona's been really hot offensively. Uh, you know, are they going to be able to hit their way through? Obviously, Arizona could make it through. Um, Florida State, you know, this is the true, you know, the, the, the true test for, for kind of for Mike Martin. His 21st trip to Omaha and is still uh, yet to win a College World Series title. Uh, you know, obviously, they're hitting, they're hitting it really hard. Uh, you know, they, they blew Stanford away, a, a team I think a lot of folks thought Stanford had the chance to go to Tallahassee and win that Super Regional. Uh, and, they, you know, they blew them off the map, scored, I think it was 35 runs in two games. Uh, you know, if they continue to hit at that clip, uh, you know, Florida State's going to be awfully tough to beat. Uh, but in the bracket one, you know, I, I think, I don't, I don't really see Stony Brook uh, winning a game. I just think they're finally have met their match. I think they're going to be overmatched here. Um, you know, I think they go out first. Um, you know, then I, I, I'm thinking maybe a Florida State and a UCLA would be kind of a winner's bracket match there. Um, I do like UCLA to come through bracket one. Uh, I think they are the best. I think they are the most complete team. Uh, I did have a chance to see them on a weekend series. They came to Athens this year, uh, and I was very impressed. You know, they, they lost Trevor Bauer and uh, Garrett Cole. Their top two pitchers were drafted in the top five or six in the draft last year. Uh, you know, so I, I think people thought they'd be down, but this actually may be uh, you know, their year to step up and win the national title. But I do think that UCLA comes through that, uh, knocking off Florida State to get to the championship series. Uh, and bracket two, bracket two, you could really call the SEC Invitational. Uh, three of the four teams there are from the, the Southeastern Conference. Uh, th those will be Saturday's games first. Uh, the first game, you've got Kent State and Arkansas. And then the second game is going to be Florida and South Carolina. Uh, you know, if you look at this, uh, again, I don't expect Kent State to make a lot of noise. Uh, in, in this bracket, I just say, you know, I, I don't see them, you know, advancing out of there. Uh, obviously, the most talented team, I think, in, in, in the whole College World Series, in the whole country, uh, is the Florida Gators. Uh, you know, not only are they the most talented team this year, if you go back and look at my predictions from last year, I thought they were the most talented team then, too. Uh, you know, uh, I think today uh, Mike Zanino, the catcher, was, was given the Golden Spikes Award uh, for being the best player in the country. Uh, you know, they've got an excellent team. You know, one thing about having three SEC teams in a 14 pod, you, you really never know what's going to happen. Uh, like I said, I don't think Kent State's going to do much. Uh, you know, Arkansas, you know, they, they've got two good starters. They could get to that 2-0, uh, you know, get in the 2-0 spot, sit in the catbird seat. And, uh, and you know, and have to have to have somebody beat them twice to get there. They got uh, you know Stanek and uh, 
and Baxendale. Uh, you know, they, they, they could do that. Uh, you know, South Carolina against battle tested. What is it, 21? I think the streak's now 21 straight postseason wins. Uh, you know, no, nobody is going to, you know, nobody's going to snooze on South Carolina. I think this is by far uh, the tougher of the two brackets to pick a winner. Uh, but, you know, I'm, I'm going to stick with South Carolina Gamecocks. Uh, you know, I, I, I've seen them. They just they, they, they make too many plays. They do all the right things. They're so well coached. Um, you know, again, like I said, I think Florida has the, you know, they have the most talented team. Uh, for some reason, you know, you, you look at Jack Leggett and some of the guys on, off his coaching tree, the Corbins and the O'Sullivans, uh, you know, when it really comes down to crunch times, those guys just haven't produced in the past. Their teams haven't gotten the job done. I mean, you look at all those great teams those guys have had in zero national championships. Uh, so, you know, I, I'm going to pick South Carolina here. Uh, you know, I, I think that that will go down to a, a final game in that bracket, a winner take all, winner move on. Uh, between Florida and South Carolina, but I uh, I, I do see those two uh, those two playing for it. South Carolina moving on. So here's what that does. What that does is it gives us a rematch uh, from the 2000 and I guess it was 2010 College World Series, the last one played in Rosenblatt, where you had a championship series between South Carolina and UCLA. Uh, you know, once we get there again, you know, it, it's it's so hard to to win three national championships in a row. You know, I mean, it hasn't been done, I don't think, you know, since USC won, you know, all those with the great Rod Dado back in, you know, the old days. But, uh, you know, I think if you had to, to make me pick one, I'm, I'm going to go with UCLA over South Carolina. Uh, you know, I watched all the Super Regionals, all the regional games, and to me, UCLA is just playing excellent baseball right now. Not that South Carolina isn't. Because South Carolina hadn't lost in forever, but um, you know I, I, I'm just going to go with that. I think it's so hard to win three in a row. If anybody can do it, it's Ray Tanner and the Gamecocks. Obviously, I love the SEC, uh, but maybe just to, to be different, I just think it's so difficult for them to come all the way through. Uh, I am going to go ahead and pick the UCLA Bruins to win the 2012 College World Series. So there you have it. Again, the games are going to be kicking off here for too long. Uh, you know, probably honestly, by the time this video gets online and you start watching it, maybe the, the uh, Stony Brook game will be on. Uh, it'd be neat to see the fans of Omaha and how they cheer for the Sea Wolves. They will definitely back that team uh, by far more than anybody else. Um, so, you know, I'm looking forward to a great College World Series. If you have any questions, comments, uh, you know, leave those in the box below. Would love to talk college baseball with anybody. Obviously, I love it. Uh, so, if you got any questions, comments, anything, you want to just talk some College World Series, then drop a comment in the box. And uh, don't forget to, uh, to subscribe to our channel, check out our website, don'tbuythehype.blogspot.com.